Hey everybody, Bones here, Bones Garage, just bringing you an update what's going on at the garage. So, 1977 Corvette Resto Mod, coming out absolutely gorgeous. We are making huge progress on this car. Um, one of the things that just came back from the Jet Code people are the headers, and look at how beautiful those headers look. They are all nice, clean, shiny, they just look absolutely beautiful. And then there's the rest of the exhaust system right there. There's our two mid pipes. Uh, well, there's, yeah, this one and this one are the head pipes, mid pipes, and then the two mufflers are right there. So there you go. Look at, that is just absolutely gorgeous. Look at how beautiful these things came out. And, you know, they will keep this shine for life. They are a lifetime warranty on these. Um, so I can't wait to put them in, see how they turn out, and see what goes on. Another thing we're doing is that was the original steering column for this car. As you can see, it's just your normal steering column. There is nothing on it. It is. It has the high beam switch here along with the windshield wiper switch and the turn signal switch. It's all on the stalk. 77 was the only year that came with that. So these columns are really hard to find, um, especially that the owner wanted the 77 column with the tilt and telescope options, which really gets hard to find. But I did find one. And I ordered it and got it here. And a lot of times you can tell that these are the 77s because of this extra harness right here. But we'll get back to that. This, we have already taken the steering column that I found apart. It's all apart. This is the lower column right here. This actually d uh, bolts to your bottom of your dashboard. This is the part that bolts into the firewall. And then the rest of the column comes out to about here. The inner shaft, the bearing, and all that end up here. And then the head of the column goes here. This is the key lock. So when you turn the key back, you have to push this button down to get the lock out. This is part of the... Um, steering column tilt mechanism these are just some brushes this is the lower piece which will be painted a nice matte red for the column that covers stuff here is the lower portion of the actual steering column so this would hook to uh, be part of your steering wheel up here over here is where your steering wheel will go so this would sit right here just like this so it would sit just like that inside the steering column then the ball right here would sit right there and then there's another u-joint that sits on the other side of this and then the steering wheel goes that ball right there is for your tilt so that is the other part this is your turn signal switch this also controls your high beams and your windshield wipers this one switch right here that one switch is 500 bucks just for that switch that one switch 500 dollars. so you can see how hard it is to get parts for this then we have all the rest of the steering column laid out this is the ball I was talking about, and it actually sits and goes like this, and then it sits on to the end of here. So that wraps into there like that, and then that connects to that shaft that's all the way over there, and that's how you get your tilt, okay? Then you have here this is the part of the locking system all of this stuff here is part of the locking system as well as the tilt system when you want to telescope the wheel this is what actually lets you move it and lock it this is the gear that works to it these are the pivots for your um for your tilt 
This is the springs for all of that. This is part of the mechanism that helps to lock it. These are the locks for your actual tilt. And then there's the rest of the steering column parts. This is the end for, this is where the steering wheel actually goes onto. This is the nut that holds it down and that goes in. This is part of the steering column. This is where all the mechanisms go for your tilt and your telescope. This here is where your turn signals are going to be set in. Here is your actual, another part of a steering column that has your turn signal. There's one of those $500 switches in there. And then here is your horn, uh, turn signals. That's part of for your horn. This is part for your turn signals. That's the switch to actually turn on the high beams. As you pull your stalk, it will push this button, you hear a click, with a rod. There's a rod that goes down the shaft to push that button. Here's some more of, this is for your horn, this is the actual steering wheel lock, so when you turn the key, you can't turn the steering wheel. This is the uh, retainer spring for your steering wheel or the cushioning spring for your steering wheel. This is also part of your turn signal stuff, as you can see. The nylon has gotten so old. It's like a Bakelite. It's gotten so old that it has just cracked and disintegrated. We're going to be replacing a lot of this. This is where your steering wheel mounts onto the column. And this is where your steering wheel actually mounts with your horn. Then we have this piece right here. You turn this this way, it unlocks the telescope, you turn it back this way, and it allows the steering wheel to telescope. So there's a bunch of the pieces. This is part of the steering column. This is what your steering wheel actually will attach to. There's the bolts that actually hold the steering wheel. There's part of the horn right there. Then you have your upper bearings and your bearing cup. Those are the ones that go right behind the steering wheel. Then you have here your lower bearing and bearing um, inner bearing race. We'll be replacing all of these bearings, cleaning the cup up, cleaning the retainer spring, and getting everything back together. And there's the original steering wheel. So there you go. There's a bunch of the stuff for your steering column with a tilt telescope steering column. And for your high beams, windshield washer stuff, turn signals. Uh, actually, this is for your cruise control. Sorry, that's the cruise control button. And that's the uh, pull to, to initiate or lock in your tilt. This is your turn signal. It goes in like this. You go up and down for your turn signals. You turn back and forth for your windshield wipers. And uh, you push it inwards for your wash for your windshield wipers. So the pissers work. So there you go. There's how it all happens. <laughs> it is a lot of stuff in there. It is extremely complicated and extremely fragile. And you have to be very careful taking these apart and then putting them back together. The reason we took it all apart is because we're going to rebuild everything, make it all like brand new. The lower half of the column is going to be paint, is going to be powder coated satin black. And then everything else, this piece here, this piece here, this here, this. And all of this will be a flat red, like the interior is. If you look in the interior, it'll all be that color. So there you go, guys. A lot getting done, a lot getting finished. Car's going to look beautiful. Really can't wait to get this all done. Oh, and if you look down in that little corner right there, there is our vacuum tank. We had to put a vacuum pump in this car. The vacuum pump is actually located right behind and above the rear wheel inside the well, way up over here on the right side, passenger side. Um, and we really needed that because the cam in this motor is so big that it will never be able to produce enough vacuum to run the uh, power brakes because it's a vacuum operated power brake system 
So we need lots of vacuum for that. Then we also have the vacuum doors for the headlights that have to be operated. So we needed all that. So there you go. I will talk to you real soon. Keep you up to date as we go. Have fun. Okay, bye.